Welcome back to Mac Break Studio. I'm Mark, I'm with Steve. We're here in beautiful San Rafael, California, and we're talking what exactly today? Camera archives. The value of using camera archives okay. in your workflow. So we've done a variety of different episodes about camera archives, but you're going to do something a little bit different with them today. Uh, exactly. Um, specifically, how to re-import from them. Okay. Okay. If you need, if your clip's going offline or corrupted or whatever, corrupted, how do you, you get how do you, how do you get them back? back? Exactly. This comes up a lot. I see comes this up, question come up a lot. Comes up a lot. So let's take a look at. It. So I have a a library here called Ronin. This uh, this Ronin is the DJI Ronin we shot with. And if I, I just want to show set you set the proper foundation for this, if I command four to open the inspector, I have the library set for an external library. So you've targeted all the media to an external location. Yeah, so okay. yeah, it, I I tend to work that way. Ninety percent of what we do in our studio is all the media goes to external on a network. On a right. network, right. Yeah. It doesn't I I don't like the media inside because I can't share it. Yes. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close the library to keep my interface clean. And I'm going to select the event, in this case here, and I'm going to uh, open the, um, what do you call it? Import <laughs> Media, window. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> import window. Where am I? <laughs> anyway, what I want to direct your attention to is in this favorite section here. I have these two camera archives. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see them. I tend to create camera archives from all of my uh, camera material. And the reason it's important, I should probably restate it for the audience, the reason you want to create camera archives is it preserves the metadata structures of the camera card. So many people make the mistake of going to the card and copying stuff on it, and they wonder, well, how come I can't make selections? Where'd my metadata go? How come I can't hear audio? You have to maintain the data structures. And, and just to clarify, you're making these camera archives before importing anything, and then you're importing your media from the camera archive. Yeah, so I make the archive, camera goes back into, uh, excuse me, the card goes back into circulation for re-recording, mm -hmm. re but now I have this bit-for-bit -bit copy of the card. That's right. what this archive is. And notice I even named it something meaningful. This, this, I, I like to, because uh, I have like the C100 shoots two cards, I could shoot two cards, card A and card B. Yes. So I name the card and I give the, the date so I know what, where these come from. Got it. So that's kind of my naming convention. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to work with this card here, this card A, and I'm just going to, what I'm going to do for just for simplicity's sake, I'm not going to make any selections here. I've got, here, you just, I've got this, this, these shots of this Ronin and this guy going through a forest here. I'm just going to select three clips. That's all I'm going to do. Notice over here, it's going to copy to that external folder that I just showed you about. Yes. Okay. And I'm just going to choose import selected. So window closes up and I have my three clips that I just imported and they're now sitting in that external folder, right? Now, I am going to quit Final Cut Pro and you'll see why in a moment, why I'm doing this. I'm gonna quit Final Cut and I'm gonna to go to that C100 Ronin folder and you'll notice that media that I just copied into the library is in that external, there it is, there it is in the external folder. Right. Now, I'm going to deliberately delete the media, Command Delete. And this is, now, the reason I'm, I'm doing this is Normally not a good idea. No, normally not, but look, it happens. You know, right. people just delete stuff, right. I don't know. You know, it was on this drive, I moved the drive, I don't know what happened to it. Yep. Look, it's a possibility that you it's deleted your media, right. And then, of course, you're gonna get the dreaded, you know, red, you know, clips, right? So, like, okay, great, I no problem. I'm just gonna go up here, I'm gonna select the clip, and then go file, and check it out. I'm gonna go import, Reimport from camera. Oh, no problem, no problem. Do, do. Great, awesome. Continue. Wait, camera archive missing. What the heck? Yeah, this. So why would you be getting this? Because you know the camera archive itself is there. I know is it's there. there. You know and it's th connected. Is, it's available. Yes, this really. So this, is, this is what this whole oh episode gosh. is about. This took me an hour and a half to figure out, and it's not intuitive, and it's stupid. All right, sorry, it's <laughs> how stupid. Do you really feel? Okay, how do I really? So I'm going to click OK. Here's the thing. You have to go back into the import window. Yes. And so the, before, before you, before you, you re-import from camera archive, you have to do this. You have to do this. Okay. And then you have to select the camera archive in the favorite section. And don't do anything, just close the window. Don't do anything, just, just close the just window. Just select the camera archive. Okay. You saw it in the list. And it needs to be in the favorites window. It needs to be in the, it has to be there. Okay. All right, and then, so now I select file, um, import, Re-import from camera archives. Just what you did before. Okay, I get the same, you know, dialogue. Initial dialogue. Initial right? dialogue. Continue. But after that, you can see that it's actually re-importing. There it the, goes. There it is. And then it's getting the last one right now. I am back in business. Now all your clips are re-imported. Right. In fact, if I control click on this and say reveal and finder, you'll notice it takes me right out to that external folder and my clips have been re-imported. So 
silly little thing that caused me great frustration. And it has to cause other people problems, right? If you're trying to reimport from camera archive and it acts like it's not there and you know it's on a connected drive or an internal drive, yeah. why in the world won't it do it? You have to select it first in the import yeah, window, and it's close not, the window, and then do it, it again. And it's not anywhere in the documentation. And I, I can't believe people aren't like you know vetching about this out there in the internet world. And it, you know? honestly, I don't think it used to be that way. I mean, I have never come. I haven't had to do that in the, recently, but I've done it in the past where that that was not an issue. So that might have been introduced at some point. But it's important to know about. Yeah, and look, this this is what makes reimport from Camera Archive great. Is like. It, it finds, it, assuming it finds it, it doesn't yeah. matter. It'll it'll reimport all of your offline yeah. media. Just reconstitute your whole project. It's it's a great command, but a little quirk. Yeah, that you need to know about. Awesome. Very good tip, Steve. Right. Hope you guys found that useful. Thank you, and we'll see you again next week here on MacBreak Studio.